Hey there everyone, it's Maplox360 here and welcome back to some more Animal Crossing New Leaf. Uh, I was going to say yesterday, but it wasn't actually yesterday, it was actually on Tuesday. So on Tuesday this week we finally got to check out the brand new cafe that opened up on Main Street, which is pretty exciting. I'm really glad we finally got that done. But today it is 5.49pm on a Thursday afternoon, and I'm not really sure what we're going to get up to today. Uh, I think we'll just take things slow and have a pretty regular day. So, we're going to get started by picking up these rotten turnips. These have been on the ground for quite a while and it's time we get rid of them. So, I'm going to go and sell these and I'm going to do the money rock. And you know what? Instead of selling them, so on Tuesday I actually showed you that... So, yeah, on Tuesday I showed you that we had actually brought this recycling bin. Or just a normal bin that we can put in our house. It was either on Sunday or Monday or Tuesday. I can't remember now. It has been a few days since I brought it, whatever day it was. But in here, you can actually throw stuff away. Now, you can actually throw stuff away at retail. However, Reese will actually charge you a fee to dispose of that item. Which is pretty inconvenient. But when you use the recycling bin, we can select our spoiled turnips and just throw them away without any cost whatsoever. They've now been deleted. I don't have them anymore, which is okay. And something that reminded me is seeing my candy in my inventory, so I'm going to put that in our room. Not too long to go until Halloween night, we've only got about 10 days left, not too long to go. Uh, we really need to pick up the items that are in the plaza, they've been there for a week now. I just really don't have enough room in my house to properly put them away anywhere. Cause, because A, I'm already out of storage pretty much as it is, and B, I don't have enough room in my house in terms of space. We've got Quilson here. Hey, I've been hoping to see you, Maplox. So, what can I do for you? Want to have a chat, buddy? Okay, how about you do me a big favor, Maplox? Right now, I just really want an apple. This is like the fifth day in a row where these guys want fruit. I know it's growing here in town, but I don't have anything to wear for fruit picking. You don't need to wear anything for fruit picking, buddy. You think you could get one for me? Oh, okay, sure. What, really? You'll get it for me? Oh, I can't wait to savor the results, Maplox. So, yeah, we've got to go get him an apple if you want to move out of the way, that is. Yeah, we've got to go grab him an apple. Looks like we have a special visitor in town today, which we'll definitely check out. But Quilson, oh, here's Pippi. But Quilson is in need of, whoops, I didn't mean to do that. Quilson is in need of an apple today. So we'll pick up all these and I might plant some more apples because I can't remember. Was it cherries that is our native fruit or is it apples? I really don't remember. I think we got given the apples from Isabel. Oh yeah, so yeah, we got given the apples from Isabel and our native fruit is cherries because we have the perfect cherry tree, which we should plant a few more of those around town. We've only got one of them, and if someone puts their house on top of that, it's going to get destroyed, which isn't going to be good. So I'm going to plant uh, two of these, and we'll give the other one to Quilson. I'll keep that hole there for now, because I'll shake the other one and then plant that too around a few different locations. Whoa, that is a huge bug. Jeez, man. Jeez, jeez. I want to try and get that. Come on. No, don't go. Come on. No, 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 no. This is a really rare bug. Holy shit. Let's go. I got it. Is this a petal dragonfly? Yes, it is. I caught a petal dragonfly. It may be big, but I'm bigger. Let's go. That's another new thing for the encyclopedia today. Sorry about the distraction there. That's okay, because it is a new thing. It, w it would still be okay if it wasn't, but you know, I like finding new stuff. Oh, shit. We fell into a pitfall. Yeah, as I said, I like finding new stuff around town. It always just... Brings a smile to my face, and yeah. You know what, before we go back, I will take the moment to shake this down. Plant some more of these around. We only have two fruits growing here. I'd really like it if we could get like a villager to give us a different fruit in the mail or something, or as a reward for doing a favor. That'd be pretty nice, but no, it hasn't happened quite yet. Uh, where should we put these? We're kind of establishing a bit of an orchard over here, so I might as well put some more fruit over here. So we'll do that one and that one on that one. Bury that. And this one over here as well. 
We should also go and see Dr. Shrunk today and do our fossils, which we haven't done in a while. So I will make sure we get that done. So... We've got to go back to Quilson, wherever he went. I don't know where he went. We've got Caesar running around. I will talk to him eventually. Ah, oh, here's Quilson. We will talk to Caesar eventually. But I've just got a couple of things to get done first. Hey, aren't you everywhere today, Map Blocks? Hi again, rid of it. So, what can I do for you? Uh, do you want to eat this? I got an apple for you. Oh boy, I can hardly wait to see what you brought, Map Blocks. Well, well, well. I don't want to give him that pedotile dragonfly, but I will give him the apple here. I finally got it right here in my hands. It's soon to be in my belly. Down the hatch, buddy. So fruity, so flavorful. This hits the spot perfectly. Well, for delivering such a delicious fruit, my blocks, I need to give you something good. I can't even see what he's going to give me. So how about having my air conditioner? Uh, okay, sure. It's getting kind of warm where I live, so I could do with that. I think I'll just bask in the fruity afterglow for as long as I can, rid of it. Awesome, you do that, buddy. I see a fossil here. Not here, but a tile over, over here. Just smacked Quilson in the face with my shovel. Sorry about that. Caesar, what's going on with you? We don't see you enough. It's not our man. I'm surprised to see that you're surviving, Highness. So did you need something? What's the latest with you? I actually borrowed something from Quilson a really long time ago. Come on now. Quilson's right there. He's right there. He's like right there. He's even on the screen. He was he was a second ago. But you, your lazy ass can't go up and do it yourself. It's been so long, I'm embarrassed to return it now. I'm sorry, but could you return it for me instead? I'm on it. Yeah. Oh, are you really sure? No, I'm not sure. I don't want to do it. Sorry for the trouble, and thanks in advance for all your help. Yeah. Being a bit of a smart ass. Okay. Just make sure it gets delivered by the end of the day. Yeah, it's going to be delivered right now, because he's right over here. Shit, Dean wants to talk. Oh, good. I wanted to talk to you. I saw a picture of this beautiful walking stick and now I'm completely obsessed. P P Pippi and Dina are both singing. Jeez, a lot is going on today. I know it's a pretty common insect, but that doesn't make it any less special to me. It would mean a lot to me if you could catch one for me. Would you please consider it? Uh, no. Sorry, I've got enough to do as it is. Oh, okay. Maybe you'll have a chance later. Yeah, maybe later. I'm not promising anything. What is going on with you? You guys are cheerful as ever. You're looking so you today, Matt Blocks. Yeah, with my pink, stupid hair. What's going on? Hi there, Matt Blocks. Didn't you say you wanted a theremin? I don't even know what that is. You said it a while ago, but I just remembered that I never used mine. Do you want mine? Mm, okay, I'll just take a free item. Whatever. Oh, good. Here you go. All yours, woo-woo. So even Pippi's picked up on Dina's catchphrase. I don't think I mentioned that, but villagers can actually pick up on catchphrases and greetings as well. It's a bit random, because you kind of want only one villager to have a custom catchphrase to make them all unique, and then someone, and then another villager just goes ahead and copies it. Yeah, it's a bit unfortunate. Sometimes it happens. Well, that's that. Totally happy to help you find the stuff you want. See you around, woo-woo. Alright, I'll catch you later. What I'm on the hunt for right now is Quilson, he literally walked down here a second ago. Where did he go? This is a common problem with these guys, they always run off on me. There he is! Wandering around Town Hall. Hey, good to see you again. What can I do for you? Again, I've got a delivery. What kind of delivery is it? Is it something really good, Map Blocks? I'm not sure, it isn't mine so I'm not going to open it. I want you to open that. When did I get this shirt that I'm wearing? I don't even remember buying that. Oh, wow. Well, is that the thing I lent to Caesar a while ago? Oh, my. Caesar remembered? That's pretty good for an animal at his age. Jeez, he really must be old then. Gosh, I'm so sorry you had to come all this way to deliver this to me, Map Blocks. No, it's okay. Please say hi to Caesar for me when you get the chance. All right? Yeah, I'll tell him that we... He'll, I'll, t I'll tell him that you told me to say hi. Also, I'd like to give this to you. It's just how I express my feelings. What are we going to get from Quilson? It's a shirt. It's a pink PJ shirt. If you don't like it, feel free to do whatever you want with it. And the, a sound place, which indicates that our friendship level with Quilson has gone up. I haven't really done enough talking about villager friendships. 
Uh, you can barely even tell that that's really got any stripes on it, can you? No. I'm not going to keep that on. I'm going to put something else on. I've got this long sleeve shirt, the sunflower tee, and the blossom tee. I'm going to keep on this shirt that I have now. I'm not sure what it's called, but I do rather like it. And we, what we've also got to do is head back over to Caesar. Gonna dig that up, because that's a weed. And we're going to head on over to Caesar again. There he is. Hey. I've delivered your gi his gift for him. What's up? I handed it over for you. Oh, and thanks for making that delivery to Quilson. So did Quilson say anything? As a matter of fact, he did, actually. Well, hmm. Well, good. Quilson should know it's not so easy for me to remember these things. Well, we all forget sometimes. It'll be fine. Blanche, what's going on? We don't talk to you that much. Oh, they're cooking. Waiting into you is always a nice surprise. Quite so. What would you like to talk about? Cookie, I want to chat with you. When the weather's like this, there's nothing like a tall glass of hot cider. So, is it alcoholic or non-alcoholic? Because over here in Australia, cider is just alcoholic no matter what. But I, but I know that in America, it has to be, it has to have like hard in it for it to be alcoholic. Um, it's kind of a slow week in Blockstown. Yeah, it's been pretty quiet so far actually. No fun events on the horizon. Well, I guess it's a chance to catch up on some housekeeping or pull some weeds. Maybe I'll go fishing. Maybe we'll go fishing after as well. Anyway, what I'm going to do is cut away once I've finished doing our daily routine, get our money rock done, find the rest of the fossils, and we'll go up on Main Street and check out what's up there today. Might also get a new haircut as well. Let's see. Has he found anything? Yes, he has. We've actually found something we haven't gotten yet. So, I'll be sure to donate those. And what I'll also do is donate our, uh, what was it called? Yeah, Petatel Dragonfly. And what we're going to also do, aside from that, is go up to the second floor of the museum. And we will do and we will see if we are able to get the silver net yet. Because I think we should be pretty close to getting it, if not already hit the mark of 30 bugs donated. So, he's going to take these off our hands. And we'll go upstairs. Thank you, Blathers. He is just blathering on here. Yep, yep. I'm good, Blathers. Don't need to keep repeating yourself all the time. Up we go to the museum, second floor. We've got a, what is this, like a glass exhibit case as our furniture today. And today we do not have the silver net. We have the silver fishing rod and a piece of carpet. I'm not really wanting any of those, nor do I really need any of them. So what I'm going to do is go to the Super TNT. Yes, I actually got the name right of it for once, Super TNT. We'll go over there. We will also check out the Able Sisters as well and see how Sable's going. I really like checking in on Sable. Anyway, uh, you know what? We'll step by the Able Sisters first, actually, instead. See how our three cute porcupine friends are going today. Hello, Mabel. Welcome to the Handmade Fashion Palace of the Able Sisters. What is this thing? What is this? This is a huge sewing machine. Jeez. Can you explain, Sable? Oh, Matt Blocks. Welcome. Oh, that's right. Did you notice that big sewing machine over there? Yeah, it's friggin' huge. I've been using this machine a month for quite a while now, so it acts up from time to time. My sisters just couldn't stand it anymore, so they got me that nice new one as a present. It's like five times the size of the old one. It's true, we did, but listen to this map blocks. Sis says she can't figure out how to use the machine, so it's just been sitting there unused. It's only got it, what, between now, between Tuesday and today, which is Thursday, so it's only probably got it yesterday. This machine uses the Nintendo 3DS camera to read the QR code of custom designs. You can also create a QR code for designs you've created. It's an amazing machine, especially made for professionals, but it just sits there collecting dust. I'm not sure if we've given her a sewing machine or a paperweight in the sleep of a sewing machine. Probably both. I'd hate to think of how heavy that thing is. But, but Mabel, I'd hate to see this machine you two gave me breakdown because I tried to use it without knowing how. Plus, I've never really used a sewing machine that big before, so I'm a little afraid to touch it. Hmm... Oh, I've got it. My blocks. You look like you'd be handy with a machine like that. Why don't you get some use out of it in, in my use out of it instead? 
I'm sure I could learn how to use it if I watched you try it out first. I don't mind you using it as long as I'm not busy with other things. If you'd like to give it a try, just let me know. Yeah, sure. Let's see. How does this work? My blocks do. If you ever feel like using the sewing machine, please just let me know. Uh, let's use this thing. Oh, of course. Please feel free. What would you like to do? Uh, we'll... Actually, no, I think I'm good. I don't really want to use this right now. Oh, you sure? If you want to use it later, let me know. I sure will. Thank you. Uh, in terms of clothes, I'm not really seeing anything that really catches my fancy today. I think I'll keep what I've got on now. Well, that will move on to the accessories area next door. Where we have, yet again, a gas mask again. This was here last time. We have this and these pilot shades, this plain white baseball cap, this thing, and the ghost mask, which we already have. I'm not going to get anything today, but thanks, LaBelle. I will see you next time. You know what? I think it's about time that we go ahead and get a brand new haircut. So let's see how that's going to go down. I really don't like the haircut that I've got right now, so I really want to get a new one and a bit of a different colour to go with it as well. Hello, sugar. Welcome to Shampoodle. If you want a makeover, sit down in that chair in front of my machine. Yes, we will. We'll go and do that right now. What can I do for you today? Sugar, perhaps a new hairstyle, some special makeup? Uh, we'll go with the hairstyle today. So we're going to update your look with a new hairstyle and just leave it to me. My hairstyle and package costs 3,000 bells and includes a shampoo, cut, colour and style. Great. I will go for it. So she's going to hold on to what I've got. And she's going to want to hear all about how we want to change our look. So our overall look... Uh, let me actually pull up a guide... So, let's see, um, we'll go with a bit of a, uh, a bit of a formal one today, I'm gonna go with. So, properly formal, you say? Well, it wasn't all the way to the formal side, jeez. So you're the type who, who pays careful attention to dress codes and things. Since you're the mirror and all map blocks, that might make you, might make you look right for the job. By the way, there are different degrees of the formal style. Do you want to fit in at work and the business world, or do you prefer more private occasions? Uh... I'm sort of a businessman. I'm a politician in this game, technically. I see, I see. Something appropriate for conducting business. And let me ask you just one more teeny tiny question. Is your appropriate business outfit new and fresh? Or do you prefer a more vintage look? Uh, I guess fresh, because I don't really wear a suit and tie and that kind of stuff. I see. So you'd like something fresh that also feels good? Okay. I can totally picture the hairstyle in my head now. Now then, you need to pick out a hair colour. What kind of colour really speaks to you? Uh, we'll go with... Uh, maybe bright. What are the options there? Uh, let's see... Um, anything else you've got? Uh, what about intense? We've got... Almost did bother of colour of burning love. Uh, you know what, we'll go with Colour of a Deep Sea, how about that? So, we're going to get styling with our hair now. That looks horrible. Yeah, actually, it doesn't look that bad. So, uh, yep, yeah, you look both fabulous and totally different. That'll be 3,000 bells, please. Oh, I need to return anything I'm wearing. Nice speed dealer sunglasses, awesome. Alright, I hope that doesn't get the video age restricted. Probably will, but oh well. I don't have the video set to made for kids anyway because it's not really a Coco Melon video anyway. So, we'll go ahead and go over to Super TNT today and see what's popping in over there. Got a new piece of the Halloween series, maybe? We'll have to wait and see. What have we got here? Timmy's working today. We have. Uh, oh, this is a spooky lamp. I'm going to grab this one. Spooky wall lamp, even. Limited time offer. And it's 4,124, just like all the other items that are in Super TNT during Halloween. Well, only the Halloween items. What is this thing? A lovely kitchen. A fine item, yes. It doesn't really look lovely. It looks ugly as hell. Uh, 2,280. Uh, I'll pass today. I'll be right. Anything else? What is this? We've got like a dentist chair and a mini lamp. Pretty cool. 
what I will do is grab our candy for today. And you know what? I think we'll go and see Dr. Shrunk and give him the candy today. Just as a nice Halloween treat, even though it's not Halloween. But it's getting close to Halloween anyway. So, I'll buy that one from you. What are we looking like for wallpaper and carpet? Spooky wall. Yeah, we've seen that like a hundred million times. Awesome. Don't need to look at that anymore. What about this one? An arched window. I think we've seen what that looks like, so I'm good. First carpet of the day is a flower pop carpet. What does that look like? That looks... Yeah, looks okay, but not really for my house. And our last one of the day is going to be... Planked Tatami. Uh, what does this look like? Let me have a look at it, actually. Uh, it looks like a Japanese kind of zen looking house kind of flooring, if you know what I mean. But I'm going to be good without that. I'll pass today, thank you. And with that, uh, we are going to go and get out of here now. Thank you very much, Timmy. I will come again. You can absolutely count on it. So, with our new haircut and shovel in hand and, and funky glasses on, I say that we go and check out Nox Homes first, actually. There might be a new um, exterior piece we can add to the house, or maybe even, you know, like... You know, we could also expand our house a bit too. Again, with the colourless stuff here. You've got a broken old fence, whatever this is, grey uh, a grey roof, grey stones, and a grey door. Tom Nook, your stuff sucks. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and leave here because that was very boring. Oh, I should have upgraded my house, but we'll do it tomorrow. It's for whatever. So, down we go to Club LOL. We'll... we'll pop on in here just before the party gets started at 8 or 7 o'clock, whatever time it is. Shrunky boy, I've got a candy for you. Oh, we're not open for the day yet. Is there something you needed? Uh, I don't need anything, but I've brought you a snack though. So, what I brought you today is some candy. Wow, my pockets are really full. I should sell this stuff. We have candy, as I've said like 500 times. A candy? Don't mind if I do. There you go. Whoa, that was quite satisfying. Well, thanks a bunch. Should probably return the favor now, so he's going to tell us a joke. I'll tell you a good joke. Alright, I have to get ready first, so you just wait right here a second. Alrighty. Thank you, thank you. Dr. Shrunk is in the house. My surprise joke is just a thing to cure what ails you. The other day, I brought a bag of potato chips. I was happily munching on them when I noticed the package said, Now it's real potato flavour. Hey, I love real potatoes. So what have I been eating all these years? Well, there you have it. What do you think? Oh, that one was alright. Yeah, I've, oh, wait, there are some funnier ones out there, but we'll take a look at what this looks like on the stage, even though he shows it to me anyway. So, lovely little cat icon down here, and it is our fourth emoticon that we've learnt, so we just have an exclamation mark above our head, which is pretty cool. But anyway guys, with that, what I'm going to do is actually end off today's episode here, because we're getting a little bit long and yeah, so until next time guys, I will catch you all later. Bye bye.